Hello, I'm John Smith, and today on Yorktown TV, we'll be talking about the war with Britain. And I'm Bill Smith, <laughs> and I'll start with the battles of Lexington and Concord, where the British fought the Minutemen. After that, the British dominated the battlefield, winning battles through the north, and at one point controlled Boston. But you can't forget about the Green Mountain Boys, who captured British guns at Fort Ticonderoga and freed Britain from British control. And the major turning point was at the Battle of Saratoga, where Washington won a key victory that lifted the spirits of the American Navy. After that, the British started taking over the South. Soon, most of the South was under British control. After that, Washington swept through the South, freeing the towns from British control. Only a few towns were under British control. But you can't forget about the battles that happened in Canada, in Quebec. There have also been battles at sea. The most important one was led by John Paul Jones. Breaking news! A major battle has broken out between the British and the Continental Army. This battle could be the end of the war. Since the British have been traveling constantly through the south, they have been greatly weakened by the opposing American forces. We will give you more info on this battle after the break. It's the newest, most wanted kitchen appliance. This knife is amazing. It slices. It slices. And it's also great for making salsa. And even useful for cutting rope. It's also for skinning animals. And for home defense. It can be yours today, not for $10, not for $5, but for $2.99. But wait, there's more. If you write us a letter today, we will double your offer. Just pay two payments of $2.99 plus $20 shipping and handling. Just allow four to six months for delivery. We're back. Okay, we've been trying to get some more info on this battle, but it's too dangerous. That's why we're sending our news reporter, Bob Williams, into the middle of the battle to get some more info. To you, Bob. Thanks, John. We are here with George Washington, and he will, give, he will now give us some information. We have heard that Cornwallis was heading towards Yorktown after winning many battles in the south. So I moved all 8,800 American troops and 7,800 French troops to block Cornwallis' escape by land. I asked the French to help me corner Cornwallis and his troops at Yorktown. Some French battleships have been blocked off by sea. Now we are waiting for him to make a move. Thank you, George. Now we will see if we can talk to Admiral de Degrasse, leader of the French fleet. It's still on sale. Send us a letter now. Oh, Admiral, how is the blockade working, and do you think it will hold? Well, the British only have 19 ships to our 28, so I think the blockade will hold. On top of that, the British ships were sent to supply and not fight. Okay, thank you, Lieutenant, for your time with us. We wish you luck in your major battle. Now we are going to try to talk to Je with General Cornwallis. <coughs> Hello, General Cornwallis. How is the battle going? Horrible. My 6,000 troops are heading towards Yorktown, where our battleship should have been waiting for us. But when we got here, our battleships were replaced by French battleships, which had chased our ships away. As soon as I realized we had no way of escaping on water, Washington and his troops showed up and trapped us by land. I soon realized that we would have to fight off Washington in order not to surrender. How long have we been fighting the Americans? We have been out here for about two weeks now. We are hoping it doesn't take much longer to fight off the Americans because we are running low on food and supplies. We were expecting to be re resupplied by our ships, but as I said before, we were cut off by French battleships. Thank you, General Cornwallis, for your time. One week later.
sir. You surrender. Here's the general's gun to prove it. Breaking news, after six years of fighting against the French and the Americans, the British have just marched out and surrendered, leaving their general behind. The Continental Army has won the Americans their independence. Yes, after three weeks at, at, Fort York, at the Fort of Yorktown and 500 casualties, Cornwallis has surrendered his remaining 6,000 troops. Along with that 80 American casualties and 200 French casualties, so with that, the Americans have earned their freedom from the British. So with that, we end our 5 o'clock news and tune in again at 7 to hear more from other people who play a key role in winning our independence from Britain. This is your last chance. Order now and we will throw in a free case for your knife to protect it from getting damaged. Order now. Mm.